What is up YouTube, it's Kingfisher745, and in this video we're looking at a special team up. Their name's pretty simple, The Marvels. And it's also easy to see why they're called this, since the team consists of Captain Marvel and Blue Marvel. Now for many of you who may wonder, why are we even using this team? It's kind of a novelty. It's not like they have the greatest synergy, or that they're going to blow away any other teams through their sheer will. So that's why it's kind of like a Team Spotlight episode. But still, trust me, this team's going to be pretty awesome. Mainly though Blue Marvel and the Blaster E3 costume, which you're going to be seeing me using a lot. It's just incredibly powerful, and I'm working on switching my armory over so it's not even switched just yet. Still, wait till you see the raw damage it does. It's been driving me crazy facing it, so I figured, let's do it. First of all, check out that preemptive counter. Yeah, that's really impressive. So we'll be seeing a lot of that and rapier one-shots. Now Spitfire with this is obviously over the top, and we'll certainly see that at points throughout this next season. But since Captain Marvel and Blue Marvel both do single target attacks as well, we'll get plenty of follow-ups with this team. On top of that, Captain Marvel of course absorbs energy, she can give herself extra turns, and then give the entire team extra turns, while by sacrificing one of hers. That's going to be pretty sick when you add in Blue Marvel getting another attack, and even worse, our Blaster E3 agent double attacking. Perhaps with the Relentless Rapier. That right there was an extremely low hit from it, and we'll still take something like that any day. Now this first enemy team, I'm going to be honest with you, they're putting up more of a fight than most will. That's even with their agent getting blown up by preemptive counter. Most of that though is cloak and dagger avoiding a ton of attacks. Which absolutely gets on my nerves. I mean seriously, look at this, it drives me insane. Like they weren't powerful enough. Against this particular setup, our cosmic cardinal can't even land against them. And since I'm getting tired of wasting attacks, we're going to go ahead and use our level 6 on Kurth. Hopefully we land a follow-up or two. Plus, that attack is going to give our teammates an extra turn. So we miss most of our hits, but our agent should be able to land something if he follows up. Okay, so here's a rapier. A little over 7,000. Not a great hit, but not bad. And hey, let's see if that Cardinal can land this time. It actually does. So hopefully this is going to be Cloak and Dagger's final turn. But you never do know about that. With Blue Marvel, we're going to go ahead and use his level 9. And I hate to waste it on C&D, so we'll knock out Kurth. Then with his bonus attack, we'll go with an Energy Bolt on Cloak and Dagger. Then my agent's going to be up next, and he'll get a few extra turns as well. Well hey, the Relentless Rapier almost does the trick, and we know the Cardinal can't land, so they're not going to die just yet. So on my agent's turn, we probably should just use the Rapier right off the bat. But instead, we're going to waste our time using the Light Fantastic, then after that the Improbability filled. And truthfully, I was just hoping that Cloak and Tagger died to dots. Honestly, I was just clicking through hoping, hey, just end our turns and let Cloak and Dagger die. But we got to do a bunch of different things, and so finally I just said, let's pull out the Rapier. If it lands, that's game over. So there it is, a pretty decent ending. But trust me, the fights are going to get a lot more crazy after that. Okay, so after that initial battle, we faced a Cloak and Dagger and Angerer team. And they seem like they have decent stats. The enemy agent though does waste his time by using Hailstorm. And we are preventing debuffs. Then he's also going to use the Spirit Blade, which is somewhat annoying. Now on Captain Marvel's turn, we could use our level 9 as a quick action, with the Quicken Powered Ice Await. But we're going to try a Kree Strike first. Now since Anger is a blaster, we'll get another turn. And that's where we're actually going to go ahead and use our level 1 Photon Blast. That's what gives Rally, and that's why the Light Fantastic was a quick action last match. So just in case you were wondering that. Then of course we don't get to finish Anger because of the stupid Spirit Blade. 
Fortunately though, the Relentless Rapier almost takes care of Null. And the Cosmic Cardinal actually does. So just like that, one of the enemies down. And on Anguirus' turn, we preemptively hit him. Nearly knocking him out as well. I mean, this is just that Blaster E3 costume in action. It's absolutely insane. Now we are going to go ahead and throw out the Smothering Shadow just to do it. Then Blue Marvel is going to charge up his Antimatter Blast. This should easily knock him out, but let's see how much damage we can get. Okay, so it looks like it's over 50,000 damage. If you thought that was bad though, check out a basically one-shot preemptive debuff buff counteraction. Yeah, that's impressive. Honestly, I don't even see how you could lose if you're using the Blaster E3 costume. You should be basically 100-0. I suppose the only time I'm going to lose is if someone takes me out first, say with a Spitfire. Other than that, this is just brutal. Check out these Cosmic Cardinal hits. And then, on a preemptive hit, we would have knocked him out, but he does have back for more. That E-ISO also annoys me because I kept facing so many different teams with that. And it kind of blows my mind. Most setups are using AoE Despair. Meaning back for more is completely useless. Yet everyone seems to be running it. If we weren't using this oddball kind of different team, we would definitely have an AoE Despair as well. So yeah, it just kind of gets under my skin just a bit. The only thing I can think of is they're worried about those early knockouts like that. So at least they get to come back once. Still though, we're going to knock him out. And that's with an antimatter blast. So a huge knockout hit from Blue Marvel. And then following that, we're going to use the Rapier, hopefully on Null. And that'll be a one-shot as well. So talk about a pretty sick team of one-shotters. I mean, even Captain Marvel can do quite a bit of damage. But in this video, she's kind of been underrepresented. I do have to say that. Still though, right here, she should get a chance to shine, and we'll use a Brawl. That does quite a big hit. Then we get a Cosmic Cardinal for 9k. And with her Photon Blast, we do a 32,000 damage non-crit. See, I told you she can hit hard. Then the Rapier completely nullifies back for more. So another reason not to use it. But regardless, that's going to be 3 matches down in a hurry. And I hope you enjoyed this look at the Marvels. That's going to be it for today, but I want to thank you all for watching. Ask you to please like, comment, and subscribe. Then until next time, good luck, and take care.